A little lizard burrito. Huh? Do you see yourself? Boop. You gonna lick? No? No licks for me. You see, P. Hmm. Okay, off to bed. I think I should have wore a scarier top, but um, I am doing summer ween. This will be my first video. So basically I will just be talking about what I'm gonna be reading and then I'm gonna try, I'm going to attempt to daily vlog. Um, I'll see how it goes. If not daily, then every maybe second day or something, I'll just combine, combine some days. I just realized I put on, I put this on, oh crap I'm in. And um, you couldn't see it from that angle, so we're at a new angle now. I also have my spooky light on, red spooky light, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> my TBR for um, Summerween is here and I'm going to talk about it. For anyone who doesn't know, Summerween is a spooky summer readathon from July the 15th to the 21st. I will leave all the details below. And I know two YouTubers run it. So Summerween is run by Olivia and Gabby. So I will link their details below as well. But um, yeah, I really wanted to vlog today. Um, but I ended up being very busy with the last vlog that I put up. Just trying to edit it and get it up. And um, I just didn't get much footage for today, obviously. Um, nothing really. So I decided that I would just film my TBR, show you what I'm going to be reading. I picked three books for my TBR. I didn't want to pick too many, but um, if I get these read, I might add in some graphic novels or something like that. And I'm very excited about all three of these books. Like I'm really excited. They also fit in with the prompts. So there is prompts for this, um, which I love. There is five different prompts. I'll read them to you now. It's read a book in the dark so that's at night read a book with halloween colors on the cover um read a slasher read a book with haunt in the title bake or make a treat with your spooky read so i'm going to try and do some of those obviously um in these vlogs and there is some instagram prompts as well which i think i'm going to try and do so like take a picture of your summer tbr post a picture of your first read for the readathon post a picture of your favorite place to read for a readathon <laughs> just my couch <laughs> post a picture of your reading progress post a reel of your reading routine post a picture of your final read for the reader time and show off your reads of the week so um all of that just sounds like a lot of fun honestly and i can't wait to get started so the first prompt read a uh, book in the dark will be easy enough um i actually will be starting to read today but i mightn't do the read in the dark it is night time right now but i don't think i'll do it tonight I think I might wait and do it one of the other days. Um, but Read a Slasher is the one I'm thinking of for this. This is My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I have read previously his book, um, The Only Good Indians, and I really did enjoy it. Um, I actually loved the first part of it. I loved that so much um, with the kind of man character we were following. Um, it was brilliant, five stars, but the rest of it, I didn't like too much but I still love the book if that makes sense um, and I still want to continue on with this author so I've heard good things about this mainly um, I don't know what it's about actually <laughs> so we're, I'm just gonna read the synopsis because um, I don't usually read the synopsis for any of my books I like to just go in blind but for these I really do want to read the synopsis because I want to be invested and I really want the motivation to um, read them so this is my heart is a chainsaw some girls just don't know how to die jade daniels is an outcast half indian with an abusive father and absent mother mother in proof rock a town that wants nothing to do with her now one class away from dropping out of school she's pouring her life and soul into her last assignment a personal story of horror films that sounds awesome um but 
Proof Rock doesn't rest easy. As blood spills in the lake and violent stories refuse to stay buried, Jade's encyclopedic knowledge of horror cinema begins to make sense of everything happening in the rapidly gentrifying rural lake town. And with the arrival of the final girl, um, Lita, I think it is, Lita Mondragon, she's convinced an irreversible sequences of events has set into motion. As she, as Jade, deeps diver into the history of her hometown, the missing tourists, the drowned church in Indian Lake, the drowned church in Indian Lake, cool, um, the tragic deaths at camp years ago, the town strives to keep her trapped, but outcasts still laugh and fight and cry and love fiercely, and even as the terror descends, the blood flows, they will never ever give up. That sounds amazing. That sounds so good. Um, I also, as I was looking at the book, because I just kind of got it from my library and it's been there a while and I just haven't gotten around to reading it. But there is, I don't want to say mixed media, but if we look here, these are just regular straight up pages. But there is like these pages where they're almost like typewritery type ways. So that is very interesting. If she's doing an assignment, I'm wondering, is that like bits of the assignment that we're reading or something. That sounds so good. I actually wonder if I'm reading it, I'm gonna start it tonight, so this is the one I'm starting with, and I'm wondering if there is any films mentioned in it. Maybe we could watch one of the spooky films that are mentioned in this for like my vlogs, but that that's very exciting. I, yeah, that sounds so good. So the next book, um, this actually, I picked up for Haunt in the title, but it'll also work with read a book with Halloween colours on the cover. Look how stunning is this cover. Like seriously, it's beautiful. So I've had this since last year or did I get, no maybe I got it at Christmas. I can't remember. Um, I, I don't have it too long but I really wanted to read it. So I feel like this might be middle grade but it's like a spooky one, a spooky story. So it's the haunting of, is it Aveline or Aveline Jones? I'm not too sure by phil hicks um so obviously haunting haunt it's in the title so this is the one i'm gonna read i actually don't know what this is about the reason i got it was for that amazing cover so it says on the back turn on your torches and join Av aveline aveline jones i love that turn on your torches because she does have a torch maybe this is the one we could read in the dark um right aveline loves reading ghost stories. So a dreary half term becomes much more exciting when she discovers a spooky old book. Not only are the stories spine chilling, but it belonged to a girl called Primrose Penberty, I think, um, who vanished mysteriously, never to be seen again. Intrigued, she decides to investigate Primrose's disappearance with some help from her new friend, Harold. Now something or some now someone or something is stirring and it is looking for Aveline or Aveline. So that sounds so interesting. Oh my god, I didn't even realise. Look. Oh that is beautiful. It really looks beautiful. Oh it's wait, it's illustrated inside. I'm just getting like oh, amazing, beautiful. Oh, bookmark fell out of it. Um, I can't wait to start this and I feel like it'll be a quick read but a really good spooky read like I just love the details on this so we've got like a scarecrow we've got like a castle in the background it's just perfect I love it so lastly this one I actually picked for Halloween colors even though you could argue <laughs> that there's not Halloween colors in this book but I really, really wanted to read it. Now, I don't think it's gonna fit any of the prompts, bar I choose to read it in the dark. I feel like the other ones can kind of cover quite a lot of these, but maybe while I'm reading this, I can bake or make a treat with your spooky read. Um, I Maybe something witchy would suit this. Maybe like a witchy, something tasty and witchy. <laughs> um, it'll make sense when you see this. But this is, oh my god, okay, sorry. This is Salufot, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this book. It is absolutely beautiful. Look how stunning that is. 
So I have a library edition and it is obviously got shiny on it. But I think the original is a bit more matte. It's not so glossy. It's got a beautiful cover. Um, I got it from the library because I just really wanted to make sure that I love it. But I probably will purchase it because it is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. Um, this is the back. So I'm pretty sure the author um, is both the person who wrote this and illustrated it. So it says, Slewfoot, a uh, tale of bewitchery so i i chose this for halloween colors because i know it's brown and stuff but i thought it was dark and witchy it kind of works for halloween colors that way and her hair looks very red and stuff it kind of looks red reddish orangey gingery so that also worked for halloween colors so i'm pushing it a bit but it kind of works <laughs> um it just it looks stunning honestly so there is many illustrations the book is enormous but it's beautiful and there's just so much going on in it i really can't wait to read it and i think it's the perfect time to read it for this um read-a-ton so i again i don't know much about this but there's a little synopsis so i'm going to read it now for you so it says connecticut um 1666 an ancient spirit awakens in a dark wood the wild folk call him father Slayer protector, the colonists call him Slewfoot, demon devil. To Abita, a recently widowed outcast, alone and vulnerable in her pi I think it's pious village, he is the only one she can turn to for help. Together they ignite a battle between pagan and Puritan, one that threatens to destroy the entire village, leaving nothing but ashes and bloodshed in its wake. If it is a devil you seek, then it is a devil you shall have. This terrifying tale of bewitchery features more than two dozen of Brahms' haunting paintings fully immersing readers in the wild and unforgiving world. So that sounds amazing. Sounds just incredible, stunning. So they're the three books that I've chosen that I hope that I can get read. Like this ends on the 21st. I think that's Thursday. So I can only hope that I get them read. And because this was supposed to be a vlog, I thought I would just show you some really super cute stickers that I got from Fox and Cactus. I actually bought these a while ago and I never really got to show them off. So um, I just kind of want to stick them in here and some of them are spooky. That's the reason why I want to show them. So um, <laughs> look at this. Look at him. He's such an angry little guy with a knife. I think that that fits perfect for the slasher um hang on i get the book i think this fits perfect for my heart as a chainsaw because there's slashers you know slash slash um he is super super cute um fox and cactus has the most amazing little designs um she also does these um little sampler things that come with every order that you make so she like makes up these little sampler things and look I, they're so cute. So they're stickers. They're like individual little stickers. Um, they're just like to say thank you or that. And um, I love them so much. They are so cute. Look at that frog chilling. That is me right now because the heat is unreal here in Ireland. So it is truly summer ween right now because it's so hot. And um, I just want all of the spook, obviously. I mean, I'm spooky all year round. You guys know, but... <laughs> Uh, these are just so so cute. Oh, we've got a little one of him too here. Look, he's a tiny little guy. Oh, he's so cute. So then I had to buy these um little it's they're they're called Space Baby, right? They're called little space babies. But um it is obviously Baby Yoda. <laughs> but they're so absolutely so adorable. I'm obsessed with Baby Yoda for anyone who doesn't know. I have many Baby Yodas. Can you see him? Uh let me move hang on but you can see him he's here and he's here and in my sitting room as well i have a whole thing of uh, an army of baby yodas pretty much um this is just like free it's their little card thing and it's just a thank you from emma and tom from fox and cactus and it's just so cute but these two i think are absolutely perfect for oh 
they're just so so perfect for for summer ween look at the look look at that that is so so cute we've got a little mop man little vampire little they're just dressed up they're all dressed up they're halloween friends they're so so cute i love them so much oh my god i just want to put them everywhere i want to stick them all over everything they're incredible and aren't they just so perfect for oh for summer ween and then these are my absolute favorite i i don't know why i didn't buy these sooner but um, I say these, but this, it, it, I have bought two of them um, because they're so, so beautiful. But it's a holographic sticker that says My Strange Addiction and it has like Halloween stuff all around it. So you know how much I love my Halloween stuff. Like I've got all my Halloween snow globes here. I've got so much Halloween decorations that we've actually had to put quite a lot of it up in the attic because we have such a small little house. But um, yeah, you could definitely say it's a strange addiction. So I got two of those because I knew once I stuck this one somewhere, I was going to want another one. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure these might be waterproof too. Um, Fox and Cactus, her stickers are incredible. They're such good quality and um, yeah, she does have vinyl ones that like you can put on water bottles and stuff like that. Um, she has amazing earrings which uh, are coming soon. I bought Jurassic Park ones from her um, but aren't they amazing? So yeah, I really want to show those because they're spooky and they definitely fit with this video. Anyway, I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and get this up as soon as possible. I can't wait to just start this and do it. It's gonna get me through the heat. Um, in Ireland, we've actually gotten a weather warning for the heat, so that's how hot it is, and that's I, I'm not gonna be able to function. So I'm just gonna sit and read and do these vlogs and hope for the best. So I apologize if you see me and I'm literally a sweating mess. <laughs> But we'll get through this. And I'm very excited about my reads. I'm so glad I wrote, read the synopsis of all of those. Because don't they sound so good? They sound so fun. I'm going to start reading this tonight. And I'll update you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. But um, I'm really excited about it. I'm so glad I decided to do this. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're participating, because it's never too late to participate participate let me know what you're reading down below or if you're just reading a spooky book in general um leave it down below and let me know and i will see you very soon bye